Hello everyone, welcome back, and today I want to go ahead and do a little quick review for the Battle Damage Batman Arkham Knight figure. This is a GameStop exclusive, and I got lucky because if you don't know this by now, pretty much GameStop has been having a sale at the stores and even on their website for the past like 3 months now. Maybe more, I'm not sure. But yeah, this figure was only $10, um, and the thing with this figure is, this happens a lot with a lot of figures, at least for me. Sometimes the figures don't look that good when they're inside the box, but once you take them out and, you know, give them a closer look and you start seeing all the detail because, you know, you can get that better uh, view when they're not in the box. Wow. This easily became probably one of my favorite Batman figures, at least for now. I'm still waiting for the Batman v Superman um, collectible figures that are coming out around August or September. But yeah, pretty much as I said before. For me, at least this year is the DC year because they're really starting their DC Cinematic Universe with Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad. So yeah, I mean, I've always been a fan of Batman since I was a kid. And pretty much, you know, you start growing up and you start losing toys or, you know, you keep them away. But now that I'm, you know, I'm on that age of, you know, collecting stuff because, you know, figures and movies always been my things. My, my thing, I'm sorry. But yeah, now I'm just starting to collect Batman f stuff again. And this is not my only Batman figure, you know. Let me compare this uh, figure to the Arkham uh, Asylum Batman. And yeah, the Batman Ar Arkham Asylum figure was pretty much used to be one of my favorite Batman figures. And once I got the new one from Batman Arkham Knight out of the box, yeah, this, this one became my favorite. I mean, wow, just look at the detail on this figure, look how the battle damage, you know, how the Sulu soul damage and stuff, look at the cape, it has like mud on it, um, as I said before, it's a little hard, I think, I don't know why, I mean, it has an open window on the box to see the details, but I guess when it's out of the box, it's just a better view, look at the, you know, you got the belt, like, all the detail on it you know my god this figure is just amazing in my opinion and just for ten dollars you know you get lucky they should still be at GameStop stores they're trying to get rid of them um, this is one of the figures that you see the most uh, at the stores at least you know in the stores that I have in my area you see a bunch of Batmans and yeah as you see here this figure do come with some weapons only two of them and an extra hand I guess the hand is for for you to have a you know easier way to put the weapon on the hand and yeah I mean as I said before pretty much comparing this Batman to the Arkham Asylum figure is just a better figure um, and I, I just noticed that just now just making this video and yeah I'm sorry that this video has to be pictures you know um, I just want to really say that I don't really have a HD camera, not yet, to make videos, you know, a regular video. So what I do for now is just take pictures and just to give you a better quality, you know, I don't want to take a video with a crappy camera and it's, it's just going to be a very, just a very bad quality and I just want to give you the best quality, at least as a video for you guys, even though it's just pictures. But yeah, that's pretty much my quick review, you know. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people had the same problem with me with this figure when they see them in the store. It's like, it looks okay on the box, it just looks a little weird, but yeah. That's why I wanted to make this video and just give you a better view of how detailed and how pretty much epic this, this figure really is. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching my videos and have a good one.